Hey there guys, Ian here and today I'm going to be bringing you a Cinema 4D tutorial and this one kind of covers um, a technique I used in my latest bit of client work. Um, this is what I, uh, this is the result of the piece of work I did and I'm going to teach you kind of how to do these um, kind of claws ripping through and um, yeah, how it kind of makes it look like it's tearing through metal. Um, it's a pretty simple effect, but it's actually pretty cool to do. So I thought I'd just kind of talk you through it. And yeah, it should be fun. So first thing, obviously, it's done in Cinema 4D. And I'm just going to teach you the basics. So I start with a plane and put it to plus Z so it's upright. And as we're working in um, kind of 16 by 9 HD, I'm going to make the width uh, 1280 and the height uh, 720. So that way we get the perfect ratio. And I'll just make the viewport the same size. And when we make the camera here, we can just zero out the X and Y and then you can see it just fits in here nicely. So at the moment we don't have um, even subdivisions here nor do we have too many. So I'm just going to kind of change these up and I'm going to start with 16 by 90 but I'm actually just going to divide these by 2 uh, just so it's a bit speedier uh, because this kind of dynamics is pretty slow to run so we're just making sure it runs smoothly and now that we got that we can just press C on the plane or go over here to make it editable and we have our object um, here which is going to be what is torn through so we want to go into our front view here go to point mode then grab the rectangular selector tool with our plane selected we just want to grab all the outer points here and so now when we go to simulation tags and cloth we can go to the dresser and fix the points so if we were to click play you can see all those points stay fixed together and we have this kind of cloth dangling around itself which is pretty cool but not quite what we want so we don't want any gravity on our plane but we do want global drag and this is kind of the key um, to making this cloth tear work I'm going to put it on around 12% we'll play with these values uh, in a bit and with the tag we want to use tear so it won't do anything now when we play through so we need to actually get the object which is going to rip through this and for this example I'm going to use something crazy like a capsule. The cap segments will be put to zero, the radius will be brought in a bit, height segments uh, we only really need one or two and we'll increase the height to something like this and this is all it's going to be that tears through it. So we're just going to keyframe this so it will start on the outside and at zero it'll be there at kind of one second it'll be over here and kind of twist it up maybe bought over here a bit make a keyframe at two seconds it'll be kind of over here all very rough movements um, you would take a lot more care over trying to get a proper rip and I'll actually bring this back a bit and then at zero we'll just bring it out and over here and this will be what plays through so obviously not perfect but you'll get the idea this is what tears through our logo so at the moment it won't do anything so we need to right click go to simulation tags and cloth collider and now hopefully when we play through 
you can see it creates this pretty crazy shape and this isn't quite what we want um, this is actually part of the cloth simulation um, and will happen every time until you go to simulate cloth and put a cloth surface in and this is what allows it to actually rip through and not just kind of spread out and the polygons to go crazy and now when we play through you can see we get this rip which comes through and now it's just all about fine-tuning uh, what we have so you can see it works pretty well but you get this nasty rip and so it's just kind of fine-tuning the details maybe I'll up the tear to 200% see what this does um, this kind of exaggerates it a lot but again it looks pretty cool and that's all that Cinema 4D is like if you want to learn how to do more things you just got to experiment around so I think this looks pretty good but what I'm going to do is you have all these jagged edges here uh, which don't look too nice so I'm actually going to remove the subdivisions from the cloth surface and actually put this inside of a hypernerbs object instead and this is what's going to subdivide our surface because this kind of does smoothing as well and now we're just going to play with the value so maybe 200 is too high let's try 90 um, it might need to be above 100 so let's try 101 not the nicest of results so 110 So this is something a little more similar to what I had, um, but it's all about just refining and fine-tuning, experimenting around until you get something you like. And what this global drag is doing, if I was to zero this out, you can see now uh, you get all these waves, it's moving. This is acting more like a cloth, whereas I wanted a metal look. So playing with a global drag just kind of keeps it all in place. So if you want the slightest bit of movement, just have it on like kind of 5 or 6. And this will just create these nice tears in our scene. And this is all I did for creating the look of these claws ripping through. Um, there were three claws in mine and they were actually modelled claws. So obviously it looked a little bit better. And... The settings I used um, were kind of fine-tuned to the scene and I believe the plane had maybe more subdivisions than this, um, I'm not too sure, but it was a pretty simple scene. I think what we can do is change the rotational segments and this will just straight away change how it rips, um, everything plays its part. And another thing I found was in the expert thing, uh, expert tab, we have the polygon collision. So if we change this to two centimeters, um, was it polygon or edge? Changing these values changes how this thing will rip. So this is almost like the surface area. So if I was to put these both on 0.5, the rip will actually be smaller. Not very noticeably, but it is. Try 0.1. And this is more or less how I did um, the tear. So, you know, this is a very simple, very quick tutorial. I'm not showing you how to texture, light, or model. This is simply how to create this tear, which doesn't just blow up the entire shape. Um, it kind of keeps the cloth in shape, uh, in kind of tacked all around, so it looks less like cloth and um, a bit more like metal. What really sold the intro was the kind of gloominess of it, the texture, the lighting, um, the dust, sparks, all of that 
um, turning it into a very effective scene and yeah this last bit's just solely after effects uh, the camera goes through uh, the tear and it's just another scene in the background made entirely in after effects so i hope that you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and kind of worked out something which you could use for this and yeah have a great